Previously on The Bill. Leo, just found out my husband has had an affair. I'd like you to take some leave so that you can grieve as you need to. You're saying that D.I. Manson is involved in witness intimidation? I'm saying we believe that D.I. Manson is corrupt. Julie, Julie, listen, this is my wife's case. Look, we talked through this, I can't give you any more advice. It's a National Crime Squad investigation, I can't get involved. Look, speak to Philippa, not me. I didn't know you were cooking. I ate earlier, sorry. It's okay. Did Jake get to bed okay? Yeah. I'm gonna go get changed. Get a good look at them. Here, let me do it. Sorry, I've got it. Who'd want to steal our rubbish? Someone who wanted to know our secrets, I guess. Assuming we still have any. Isn't that what journalists do? Go through other people's rubbish. This has got nothing to do with my affair with Andrew. You seem very sure. Yeah, well, you're the one who's handling the high-profile prosecution. I shred all my old documents. Peter McGowan doesn't know that. Maybe this has got something to do with you. Someone looking to blackmail you. Well, should we report it? Up to you. Neil, you burnt your bloody dinner! Why is the phone unplugged? Because Julie kept ringing. You're going to have to speak to her. Well, what did she want? Oh, to let off steam. She's just paranoid about testifying against McGowan. I told her she's your witness. From now on, she speaks to you. Well, she's left a message. You should listen to this. She's upset. Sounds like someone's been threatening her. Neil? I'm going to call her back. Hang on. Wait a minute. This was in the smoke alarm. What is it? It's a book. A probe. It's a listening device. Is it still on? I've disconnected it. Well, how long has it been there? Are there any others? How did they get in? I don't know. Have you had anyone around saying they're from the gas or the electric? Well, you've been the housewife recently. You tell me. Well, we've been broken into. And it's a very professional job. It's as good as it gets. I can't be connected to my case. Why not? McGowan's a very powerful man. If he's found guilty of money laundering, then he's going to want to be desperate for the trial to collapse. Yeah, but he's on remand. He's got lackeys on the outside. His son, Gordon, for one. You need to listen to this message. Why have you hung up on me? I'm scared. I need help. Please. Um, 
I'm going to report this to the police. It might have been the police who planted this. NCS? More than possible. What? Besides, if it was McGow, I need a bug to chambers. Well, you might have done. I'm going to have to search everything. We need to look at this from a police point of view. If they've got wind that McGowan wants the case to collapse, where are they going to look for evidence? You're not going to be the first prosecution barrister to be offered a bribe or blackmailed. God. Don't take it personally. The Met like to cover all the angles. I really don't like this. I want to make a complaint. No, hang on. Wait a minute, okay? We don't know what's going on here. I need to check it all out. I'll go and see the DCI in the morning. If this is one of ours, I can put him straight. And if it's not? And the police will help us. What are you doing? You might have eaten. I haven't. Well, like I said before, all you've got is a picture of the D.I. with this woman. Julie Hemming. Only the chief prosecution witness in our case against McGowan. Or should I say was. Suddenly she's refusing to talk to us. Putting our trial in jeopardy, which is why we're here. Our question is, what's she doing drinking coffee with your D.I. when he's off duty? Well, you may suspect he's corrupt, but I know my officers. You didn't know about his affair with P.C. Dunbar, though, did he? The point is, he's married to the prosecution barrister. So? But which makes him uniquely placed. His marriage is rocky. His mistress is dead. He's at home feeling sorry for himself. McGowan comes along, offers him an arse juicy bun. Manson uses his wife to gain access to the witness, who suddenly decides to clam up on us. This is all conjecture. Well, it's a theory for which we need evidence. Which is where you come in, Gov. It would make life easier, Andy, if we could have your cooperation. There's a couple of Neil Manson's cases we'd like to look into for evidence of corruption. Oh, Phil? Yeah, right. yeah, Just excuse me a minute, will you? Phil? Did you know about Neil and PC Dunbar? Did you? What's this about? They've got the National Crime Squad in there making a fool out of me in this whole department. Just give me a coffee. Okay, I'm just off to the gents. I think you'll find you need to go as well. So, who is this McGowan? He's a big-time villain. Laundering drugs money through a chain of pubs and clubs in the East End. Only his trial is about to go tits up. NCS have got it into their minds that Neil Manson has been leaning on their star witness. The DI? There's no way. They've got photos of them both together. They want to know what's going on, and right now so do I. So I want you to sniff around. Follow him, but... Be discreet. You've got it. Susie? Oh, I didn't know you were coming in. Good to see you. I wanted to work with the DCI. Oh, he's been tied up all morning. No idea what with her. Who's that? Liz Garrett, DS with the National Crime Squad. What are you doing? Neil! Gov? Where's it going? Shouldn't you be at home? Well, it was. Um, word, word, actually, in private. Well, that might be difficult at the moment. Uh, Maybe later. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Thanks. Go. All right, Mickey. What are you guys up to? Shouldn't you be enjoying your time off? You're not going to have any when you get back here. True. Should we continue? Yeah. Catch you later, Phil. So, what's the news? Not a lot. Listen, I've got something to be getting on with, but I'll um, speak to you later. Yeah. Susie. Yeah. What do you know about the McGowan case? Only what I've read in the papers. If you get wind of what this is about with the DCI and NCS, any chance you can let me know? Yeah. Sure. Well, I doubt if you'll find anything, but I'll leave you to it. Why do you think D.I. Manson came in today? 
Well, as you know, he said he wanted to discuss something. And what was it about, do you think? I don't know. I'm not psychic. Well, it's a very high-profile case, Julie. You're bound to be nervous. There are people outside my house. I'm scared, OK? OK. How many times have you seen them? I can't remember. But the McGowans are trying to kill me. I know they are. Gordon knows I saw too much. Could I think I could testify against his dad and get away with it? What was I thinking? All right, Julie, calm down. These people, um, what do they look like? I don't know. It was dark. So you don't know if Gordon was one of them? Well, no, but they must be people connected to him. You're not even listening. They're following me. Why would anyone take me seriously? Look, Julie, you can't... Uh, Julie, look. Julie, I am listening to you, okay? Just calm down. Just calm down. Look, this is really weird. Let's go. Okay, so I am listening. I'm listening. Let's just go back into... Gov, can you talk? Or are you sitting down? Because I don't think you're going to like what I'm about to tell you. D.I. Manson is talking to NCS's chief witness. I think the best bet is for you to take this straight to the National Crime Squad. Tell them what you've told me. I'll drive you there myself. I don't trust the police. What do you mean? I've moved flats twice in the last week and they always know where I am. Who? Gordon. Or his mates. The people have been threatening me. But the NCS were the only ones who ever knew where I was. So you're saying that uh, a member of the NCS is in McGowan's pocket? Well, how else have they found out? Where are you staying now? Why do you want to know? Well, there's a chance that they might be booked. I'll come with you. You'll be safe with me. How? How do I know you're not involved? Oh. Well, now you're just being ridiculous, aren't you? Look, Julie, you were the one who came to my wife for advice because she thought you were being followed. She asked me to talk to you. If I was involved, don't you think that's a huge coincidence? I'm not telling you anything anymore. Look. Julie. Just go. It's like they've had a big argument. Gubby's going one way, she's going the other. I mean, who do you want me to follow? Well, she's the one at the root of all this, so stick with her. Someone's just pulled into the back of the van. Look, I'm going to switch to radio, Gov. Phil? Right, all units. Doral Road. Woman's been pulled into the back of a blue van. Index is W774SEP. Heading up towards Burbeck Street fast. I'm following. The suspect's got a shotgun. They just fired at me. Phil, are you all right? What's happening, Gov? Received ARV ETA Phil. two minutes. Phil. It's all right, Gov, I'm OK. You're turning left on Gabriel Hill. It looks like we're going trapped. Can you hear me? Police accident. I need an ambulance to Stearman Road. The female's been thrown out the back of the van and I've hit her. Julie Henning has been run over. What? Where? Stearman Road. Was she hurt? She's on her way to St Hughes. Phil rings her, she's back. Phil? Yeah, he's with her now. How come? Well, she was snatched off the street. Phil happened to be there. Well, oh. do you want to tell me what Phil was doing then? I asked him to look into things. 
I know what you're thinking, Mickey. But if someone told me you were dodgy, what do you expect me to do? Nothing? Hi! What happened? Hey, Mick. Hi. Why don't you put your telly on and we'll watch a DVD, eh? What did Jack say about the bro? Next time you've got an hysterical witness, deal with it yourself. I'm not getting dragged into this case anymore. What are you talking about? What did Jack say? I couldn't even speak to him. The whole station was crawling with NCS. Why? <sighs> this whole thing is spinning out of control. Julie thinks someone from NCS is feeding the McGowan's information. I told her she was mad, but, you know, thinking about it. When did you see Julie? She said she needed to see me. Then she would let me help her. Maybe these threats against her are real. Maybe there is a leak in NCS. You're being paranoid. Yeah, well, it's infectious. What did Julie actually say? I'll tell you what, you speak to her. If you want to know, ask her yourself. You go through the sequence of events, logically, you all sound sitting, there's nothing you could have done, right? Here you go, sir. Well, look, after they shot at me, I, I just continued the pursuit. They opened up the back of the door and I just flew around. I couldn't break in time. So this van, do you know who they were? No. Did Julie Hemming say anything? Who's Julie Hemming? Any theories? Well, I'm guessing someone was watching her. Just like I was watching the DR. Just hang on, Ellie. Doc. How's he doing? Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. Listen, when he's... Well, my boss would like a word. Sure. Oh, Gov. We need to lose DC Sim. Why? Well, you know why. Dion Manson bought her over from Stafford Row. We don't want her compromised. Susie, can you run up a few witnesses? Yeah. Right, where were we? Well, obviously, the Iron Manson knew where she was and I was following him. But the point is, whoever abducted her, how did they know where she was going to be? Mrs. Manson, I'm Susie Sim. I believe we met once when I was working with your husband at Stafford Row. Right. I was wondering if I could have a word with him. Neil! So how are things at Stafford Row these days? I'm at Sun Hill now. Neil got me the transfer. Susie? Sir. What's the news? Do you know a Julie Hemming? DCI Jack Meadows, yes, Phil Hunter. This is DCI Victor Boris. Hello. Hi. Hi. Shall we get on with it? Yeah. Oh, shall we, Phil? Something rotten in the state of Denmark, I'd say. Unless you can provide an alternative explanation as to what D.I. Matson was doing associating with our witness. Well, perhaps if you hadn't alienated Julie Hemming in the first place, you wouldn't have had to come here looking for scapegoats. Well, let's hope she doesn't die. She's the only one who might be able to tell us what D.I. Matson was actually doing. Without her, Manson's dead and buried. Right, you've got some CCTV for us. That's definitely the van. Do we recognise any of them? Not so it's been enhanced. But this one could well be Gordon McGowan. So what do we know about him? Oh, not very much. Bit of a hothead, lacks his father's finesse. But I'm more interested in knowing how you, Phil, happened to be there in the first place. I think you know the answer to that. Would you like to elaborate? Well, I wondered if you'd like to elaborate first. What do you mean? Well, you've got a witness who won't talk, you've got a trial that's about to collapse, and now you're spending your time making accusations of corruption against D.I. Manson. I mean, apart from the odd photograph of Julie Hemming, what evidence have you got that he's trying to sabotage this trial? There's not so much evidence as intelligence. Something we've just received. What? 
No, sorry. But I can tell you it's solid. Rock solid. So what was Phil doing there? Was he following me? I don't know anything else apart from what I've told you, Gov. What's going on? It's complicated. But I need you to trust me. Of course. Do me a favour. Found this in the smoke alarm. I need to know if it was the police. Look, Susie, I'll explain everything when I can. I'll try my best. I'm sorry about the Iron Well, don't be sorry till there's something to be sorry for. I might not be as close to him as I was to you, but I trust him just the same. Well, I wouldn't trust me, Gov. I don't work for you anymore. So what do you reckon? Well, if they had rock-solid evidence that Neil was corrupt, they'd stop faffing about and arrest him. Mm. But they haven't. We could call the hospital. Officially, we don't know she's been hurt. It's not been reported. Did you tell her, Susie? Tell her what? About Julie, that she was worried about the NCS. Don't be ridiculous. Then what was Susie doing here? Telling me about the accident. I asked her this morning to keep me in the loop when she saw NCS were involved. Why? At some point, we're going to have to start trusting one another again. Yeah, well, that has to be hard. Such a thing as forgiveness. Oh, and you were always so good at that, weren't you, Neil? This is ridiculous. I don't care what you say. I'm going to report that probe. Philippa, wait. Mrs. Manson, I've warned search his premises for money and correspondence. Mickey, you know she's a lawyer. You start making false accusations, you'll regret it. It's not your wife we're interested in, Neil. It's you. Sneaking in the back way. I wouldn't have thought that was your style, DS Wood. Well, with respect, sir, given your position, we thought it'd be more discreet. Does, uh, this look familiar? No idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Sarge. What? Thank you. She dies. Well, the nurse is trying to be optimistic. Yeah, well, it's not just me that I'm worried about. It's the DI, too. I mean, Julie's the one best place to put him in the clear. Or not, as the case may be. What do you say? Look, supposing the DI is kosher. Suppose. I want him to be innocent, believe me. But I trusted Don Beach once. Look where I'd go, mate. If he is innocent, Somebody's dripping poison into the air of NCS. Maybe it's Pippa. I mean, wrong wife and all that. She's not that spiteful, shall they? Someone in my neck. So, Gov, maybe I can. Nick. Nicky. Yeah? Thanks. Maybe I should maintain surveillance on the DI. Perhaps there's something going on that we don't know about. I'll tell you where he is now, if you like. That was Mickey. The DI and his wife have been taken into Barton Street for questioning.
Thanks for coming, Gov. You need a third rep. I've done nothing wrong. I've got nothing to hide. I found it in a smoke detector. When you found the probe, why didn't you report it? Thought it might be one of yours. <laughs> really? Either it was put there maliciously, or in the mistaken belief that someone in my house was corrupt. I wanted to believe the latter. I wanted to deal with the matter discreetly, avoiding embarrassment. Well, the probe. Yeah, the probe. We're NCS, Jack, not MI5. But I take it you're going to find out who put it there. We're looking into every possibility. So? So what? So, cards on the table. Is it one of yours? Is this where you say, we ask the questions? Can you explain how this money came to be hidden in your son's bedroom? No. Five thousand pounds of used notes found under your son's mattress, and you've no idea? How much pocket money does he get, I wonder? All I know, it's not mine. Whose is it, then? I don't know. Your wife's? Well, you'd have to ask her. Doesn't sound very characteristic, though. She tends to use a bank. Who else could it be? The same person or people responsible for the probe. And their motives? Someone is setting me up. When did you first come to meet Julie Hemming? When she came to my house. And what did you talk about? Nothing. She was there to see my wife. She was worried about testifying. She thought she has been followed. You know we've got evidence of you meeting her on your own. Well, my wife later asked me to advise her as an impartial police officer. Julie was concerned that the information she was given the police was somehow finding its way back to the McGowans. So you discussed the case? Only in that respect. When was the last time you saw her? This morning. Just to see me. For that? About the same concerns about her safety. She was very agitated. She, when she left soon after I arrived, and given what happened to her five minutes later, it wasn't entirely unreasonable suspicion. Did you discuss the case with your wife? Only in relation to Julie's concerns. How did you discover that Julie had been injured? No comment. Who told you? No comment. He's doing so well. You're going to have to release him. I mean, what exactly have you got? Pro tem, Jack. Pro tem. I have no idea how the money came to be at my house, nor who put it there. Julie Hemming came to see me in relation to a case. The reason for Miss Hemming's visit is privileged information. I have nothing further to say. She's good. Calm, control, but I don't believe a word of it. Did you ever discuss the case with your husband, Mrs. Manson? I refer you to my statement. I'm showing Mrs. Manson exhibit MW3. It's an electronic bug. Have you ever seen this before? I refer you to my statement. I have nothing else to say. What do you think had a good marriage, Mrs. Manson? What was the name of that PC that he was in the sack with? She's an undercover journalist, wasn't she? No comment. When did you find out Julie had been hurt? No comment. But you did not. Would you like me to read my statement again? Perhaps a little slower this time. I made some dinner. I've already eaten. Jake's asleep. Well? Well what? Well, it wasn't my money. Well, it certainly wasn't mine. Well, someone put it there. Maybe Jake robbed a bank. Tell me everything you know about Julie. That's privileged information. Even if it weren't, there's nothing to tell. Right now, she's the only person who can put me in the clear. You only ever think about yourself, don't you? If this case goes down, how do you think it's going to affect me? God's sake, Philippa! <sighs> we shouldn't be fighting. We shouldn't be fighting at a time like this. What do you tell them? Only what I said in my statement. What about you? Just why I met Julie and about the probe. Did they own up? 
Well, they're hardly going to do that, are they? Even if the probe was theirs, the 5K certainly wasn't, which would mean two sets of people breaking into our house without us noticing. Doesn't make sense. So what's the plan? Well, other than waiting for Julie Hemming to recover, I haven't got one. Well, I doubt if you'll trace that bug back to anybody. You know, those type of listening devices can be bought and sold anywhere. It's just doing some research, Gov. For a friend? Neil is the innocent one in all of this. I can't just sit here and do nothing. We're not. But that doesn't change the facts, either. But if I could prove where the probe came from, then we might be able to steer this away from him. Well, for a start, as NCS have denied it's theirs. And I'm sure that whoever did plant it there didn't leave a trail. What else can we do? We can let the evidence speak for itself, and that's not a suggestion. You're on my team. So you don't look into anything without informing me first. Gov. If Neil's innocent, we're 100% behind him. If? Get some sleep. You're going to need it. Butch, do you have any idea what time it is? I'm not in the mood. What do you want? To see you. Well, he can wait. Not really. What's this about? You, your career, your lovely wife, not forgetting, of course, me. I might desire to stay out of jail if at all possible. Okay. Where are you? Downstairs in your kitchen. Just about to put the kettle on. Fancy a cup of tea. What do you think you're doing? I'm looking for tea bags. How did you get in? Well, I would have rung the bell, but I know you've got a little one. Your wife would probably only moan about her beauty sleep being interrupted. <laughs> if I know anything about women, which of course I don't. Ah! Because let's face it, which of us does? I asked you how you got in. How am I last time? Through your back door. Five lever mortis lock. Which, of course, your lot recommends, but let's face it, that's meat and drink to the likes of me. So you planted the bug? I cannot tell a lie. And the five grand? <laughs> it was supposed to be ten, but being the duplicitous little git that I am, I get five back for myself. Shopping. Ooh, milk and sugar. You working for NCS? The cops. I'm not that bad. Really? Seems to remember you giving me plenty of information. Yeah, well, that's because I like you. Just milk. So if it's not NCS, who is it? I'm a professional, Mr Manson. And you know me. I abhor violence. Most of all, when it's being directed against me, of course. But when it involves women... Yeah. You're working for the McGowans? I'm a burglar. An honourable calling. But I draw the line at murder. Well, almost murder. What are you talking about? You don't know this, but Gordon McGowan does. One of his girlfriends has got a girlfriend who works as a nurse. Butch, what are you saying? <sighs> Gordon's really pleased at this. I don't think you will, but I... What? Julie Hamming fell into a coma two hours ago. There's no way she's going to wake up. Let me get this straight. Gordon McGowan approached you. No. Who then? Uh, I'm not amongst thieves, Mr Manson. The bloke involved was just a go-between. No names were ever mentioned. So how do you know it came from Gordon? I don't. I'm putting two and two together. Your missus is prosecuting Peter McGowan, right? Yeah. And someone wants a bug installed in your kitchen? What about the five grand? Well, you tell me. Make out she was taking a bow, I guess. The thing is, I knew Julie Emin when she used to go out with Gordon. I liked her. 
You knew she was going to testify against his dad. Do you know why? Because she didn't know what she was getting herself into with Gordon's family. Saw way too much. Dirty business. Next thing you know, she's been thrown out the back of a van. Ah. How do you know about the accident, Butch? You know, I've gone out on a limb for you, Mr. Manson, and there's a distinct lack of gratitude. Hang on. What are you doing here? It's one good deep of the day. No. I know you're better than that. You're more involved in this than you're letting on. So come on, it's just me and you. It's off the record. If I tell you this, I'm counting on you to see me right here. I can't do anything, Butch. I'm not working. I need your help. You know people. You can pull strings. I can't. I could be looking at life here. I swear on my mother's grave I was just offered a job. I had no idea what they were planning. What are you talking about? I was driving the van. If Gordon ever gets word, I've come to see you. I'm a dead man. Yeah, all right, well, listen, I can make a phone call, get you into protective custody. Oh, no, that's just it. Gordon's got someone on the inside. One of your lot. Who? <laughs> if I knew that, don't you think I'd tell you? Right now, you're the only one I can trust. Neil? Yeah. Uh, I'd better go. Uh, want me to lock the door after me, or shall I have to you? Huh? Oh, lovely night dress. McGowan's got a cop in his pocket. If I don't find out who, we're in big trouble. We're at a bit of a loss as to know what you want, Jack. Well, I want to know if you're going to arrest my officer. I know it's insinuation against you intended, Jack, but it might not be altogether appropriate for us to discuss that. I resent that implication. Gov, if you don't mind me saying, one of your strengths as a DCI is all the loyalty you display to all your officers. Which, given the circumstances... What? ...might now be considered a weakness. Gov. It's not a good time right now. Well, I'll make it quick. There's something you need to know. The McGowans have got someone in NCS working for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are you, Gov? Who are you with? Yeah, OK, well, thanks for getting in touch, yeah. Gov. Bye. Right. You were saying something about a weakness? Gordon McGowan. Do I know you? No, you. D.R. Manson, possibly. Or shouldn't that just be plain mister these days? You have got your ears to the ground, haven't you? How does it feel to rejoin the human race? What would you know about that? I wouldn't call what you do human, would you? Now, you're not trying to provoke me by any chance, are you? Well, that's not very hard by all accounts. Probably suit you down the ground, wouldn't it? If I took a swing at you. Sadly, I am a man of peace. Not what I've heard. Don't want to believe everything Julie says. Julie's not saying anything these days. Probably never will again, thanks to you. Easy, Tiger. You're letting your imagination run wild. I heard it was a copper's car when I over. How would you know that, eh, Gordon? It's not been officially announced. Maybe I'm just psychic. Well, I'm on to you, and I know who your old man's got in his pocket. Now, there's a threat. I'm terrified. Should be. Because right now, I'm not working as a copper. There's no rules. If Neil's right, Victor Bryce, Mickey Webb and Liz Garrett are all in the frame. But where did the D.I. get this information from? I have no idea. And do we believe him? What are you thinking? If he is bent, he knows NCS are on to him. What's he gonna do? He's gonna turn on his accusers. Exactly.
Butch, unless you've got something to give me, we're not going to have this conversation. Just tell me who it is. Who's corrupting NCS? All right. I'll meet you there. Oh, Scott. According to the Telephone Investigations Unit, Mew received a call from one James Cassidy at 2.29 a.m. this morning and another one just half an hour ago. What's this? TIU did a cell site analysis on Neil's phone. On what grounds? There wasn't time to discuss ethics, Phil. I just told them what they needed to hear. Do we know this James Cassidy? I know him. Ironically known as Butch. <laughs> the cat burglar? Could bypass any alarm. Pick any lock in seconds. The actual criminal genius. So he's always getting caught. I always had a bit of a soft spot for him. But the question is, why is Neil contacting Butch at a time like this? Have we got an address for him? No. No associate. Gordon McGowan. Did TIU manage to pin a location on Neil's phone? Only that he's on the move, sir. I right, call him. What's he doing? I can think of one person I might know. Butch, it's me. I'm on my own, there's nothing to worry about. Butch! Come in, Mr. Madsen. It's open. Sorry, Mr. Madsen. Get up! I had to do it. What? They were threatening to kill me. What the hell are you doing to him? You said you weren't going to hurt him! I haven't seen Neil since first thing this morning. Well, we'd like you to call us when he returns. Neil doesn't trust anyone at the moment. I'm sure you understand when I say that the police aren't exactly flavour of the month in this house right now. Well, we are on his side. You would say that, though, wouldn't you? Have you seen this man before? Pippa. Could be important. He was here late last night. I didn't talk to him. He left when I came downstairs. Why was he here? Neil wouldn't say. He, he seemed very agitated after he'd left, though. Did he say why? He seems to think someone in the NCS is working for the McGowns and that they helped set him up. Excuse me. Susie. Yeah? Neil's phone has been in the same place for the last half an hour. After looking at the map, I'd say he's somewhere on Wenall Street. Thank you, Susie. What happened? We'll be in touch. Phil? Cassidy, you rang me, asked me to come here. What the hell you done, Neil? It's a cell. Butch was driving the van that hit Julie. He was going to tell me who the mole was. That's why they killed him. Oh dear. Who took you lot off? I might ask you the same question. And what have we got here? Neil Manson, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. No. 
wasn't me. You'd have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later align in court. Don't believe me. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You've got to believe me. Next time on the bill. Get out! Get out! On the plate! All the evidence points to Madison. If you try and deflect it onto my team, you are looking for a fight. Our key witness, Julie Hemming, she just died from her injuries. You're a double murderer.